John, how about over at TSA? A lot of great work going on over there. A lot of uh, very innovative things going on in the airports. No question that this architecture uh, framework has come and in, been introduced just in time. Yeah, it has. And it's been an interesting um, way that we're trying to develop it as new technologies become available as we go through our, our demonstration processes to you know, flesh out all of the, the functional requirements that make sure that things work in, in the way they're supposed to. But then also building in that cybersecurity, um, I think where Zero Trust is really trying to do, to build it in from, from cradle to grave. Um, here at TSA, we, we've been, we've, we've made a lot of great successes, but we still have a long way to go. I'm sure everybody else is probably in the same boat. We've tried to leverage as much as we can from the DHS uh, Continuous Diagnostics and Mitigation Program, CDM. Mm -hmm. It really helps us with a lot of things that have already been uh, pre-defined uh, and set up for us from credential management and privilege management. Uh, for the most part, using the, the PIV credential smart card for, for our authentication. We're still working on different ways to, to include authentication from the general public because we do have to interface with people for sure. Uh, but it also helps us with a lot of our inventory management. Um, and it, it, the, the the big areas where we need to work on is on our network segmentation. Get rid of flat networks anywhere they may exist, segment things so that we can you know better control and contain things. Um, and then the data tagging, right? That's always been a, 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 I've been in doing this for quite a while. That's al always been a challenge. You know, encrypting data is one thing, but to be able to, to tag it correctly to, to, to put it in its right buckets and for the access controls is, is uh, always a big challenge. So right now we're working with teams to identify uh, what we need to do, define what it means to be successful, the metrics coming up with good quality metrics so we can say, hey, we actually made it, we got there. And then we can see from a percentage point, I mean, you already brought it up, you never really reached the end goal, but I look at it as half lives. Can I half it and keep halving it so I'm virtually at, at the end state? 